held high the banner of communism and all that it means to humanity. Long live your memory, long live our party. The inevitable struggle gives rise to the new, and comrade means its best abounded in you. So we sing for the future. We sing your sweet song in the work of the party your life carries on. Our founder, our leader, our comrade, our friend, you held high the banner of communism and all that it means to humanity. Long live your memory, long live our party. Your heart was broader than our great prairies. Your ideals tower above the Rockies. And like the great oceans whose tides shape our shores, your life was the heartbeat in the shaping of ours. Your work, dear comrade, finds expression in us, in the struggle, in the party, in the Seventh Congress. The new has arisen, we proudly proclaim that this is the party of hearty things. Our founder, our leader, our comrade, our friend, you held high the banner of communism. And all that it means to humanity, long live your memory, long live our party. And all that it means to humanity, long live your memory, long live our party.
that the proletariat can only be united through revolutionary struggle. 
we cannot uh, sit together and hold each other's hands and uh, feel the warmth that we are united if we do not wage class struggle, if we do not fight for the interests of the class, if we suffer from every kind of illusion, there can be no unity. And those who wage bitter struggles, they are the ones who can feel the vigorous warmth which comes from that unity. And that unity is unshakable. Working people remember the prophetic words of Marx and Engels. The proletarians have nothing to lose but their chains. They have a world to win. The world without the danger of cataclysmic war. The world without any crisis. The world where the future generations grow up with pure aspirations, secure in their life, and energetic to build a world more advanced, more progressive, more beautiful, where the arts and science, culture, and the new man climbs new heights hitherto unknown. Working people, the life is not worth a farthing within this world and without the new world. No sacrifice is too much to build such a new world. Arise, proletarian, fight for what belongs to us, the world of socialism and communism. Arise, proletarians, fight for what belongs to us, the, work without, the world without exploitation of man by man. Rise, proletarians, fight for what belongs to us, the world of genuine peace and democracy. Working people of all countries unite. The necessity is for revolution. साफ के झंडे बुलंद हुए सनसलवाडोर लपाज में अब इंसाफ के झंडे बुलंद हुए आजाद वतन की तालों पे लोगों के बजुके गरज उठे सनसलवाडोर लपाज में इंसाफ के झंडे बुलंद हुए आजाद वतन की तालों पे लोगों के बजुके गरज उठे यूरोप में अमेरिका में एशिया उशिया अफ्रीका में आवाज अमन की गूंज रही है
The taking up of these tasks by the Canadian Marxist Leninists and the profound, all-sided battle they waged for their achievement created the conditions for the solution of the major problems of the day, the founding of the party. A new communist has come into being on this soil of Canada, which is nurtured by the spirit of Marxism-Leninism of our party. And that new personality, they think that they can smash us, destroy us. We will become millions. You watch us. Because, because we represent what the working class wants. We represent what the oppressed masses of the people on the world scale want. We are people without any prejudice of any kind. We do not divide ourselves on the basis of race, on the basis of religion, on the basis of national background. We unite ourselves on the basis of Marxism-Leninism, a common ideology for the working class of all lands. We unite ourselves on the basis of proletarian internationalism with the working people of all countries. Human beings are known to making strides. The enthusiasm and excitement which comes when you scale the highest mountains, when you build new societies, that's where life is. Like today, it doesn't matter which question we take up. Whether it is a question of, say, having the unity of the Canadian people on the basis of uh, respect for everyone's language, no bourgeois can find a solution. Only working class can find a solution. We must escalate our work. That is, we must develop our tactics Besides the election tactics, which we have already announced, we should also develop our tactics in terms of building our committees, organizations in the working class, amongst the youth, in the neighborhoods, and so on. In other words, the time is not to repeat that uh, general line and so on. The time is actually to turn it into life, to work out those tactics so that the working class can approve our line. While we know that the workers are interested in communism, at the same time, many of them do not approve what they call is communism. So why raising the issue of whether you are a, a issue of demarcation, whether you are communist or anti-communist? Why not raising the issue that what is just and what is unjust? At the same time, this is not a suggestion that we should stop our communist work. We should carry out our communist work. But at the same time, we should have a division on the basis of what is just and what is unjust. Today, the masses of people want that we should defend Marxism-Leninism in the open. We should tell the masses of the people as to what has happened historically. What, where do we stand today? In other words, it is not a question merely of some pedantic work. It is a question of uh, coming straight out to tell the workers that it is conspiracy by Anglo-American imperialism. Change in the air, change everywhere, seasons change change, repetition in the life of an individual, in the society,
terrestrial changes, all and more inconsequential thinking, the idea, the social change, the drastic and the moderate, the ones which would put the human beings in the first place, not one human being, not a few human beings, not a few chosen ones, all human beings without exception, cared for, looked after, tender loving care, the greatest love by the society, a society that will create its own kind of love, not a love, a mystery, an unattainable dream, a social love, irrigating all in one, gushing through their veins. There was a love, an individual love, which came crashing through the darkness of medieval times, opening the floodgates of human freedom. Something is calling now, move on. Let the love have a source. Let the social love spread its wings. Let the total human personality be born. Something is calling now. Move on. Move on. party it deters the propaganda of the class enemy against us these may look like to be small battles but when the barricades of class struggle are drawn if you have five people on one side still it's a barricade if they have a thought there are thousand people then it becomes more than a barricade if there are millions there, then the barricade falls, victory comes there. And for your support to the party, this is beginning of that victory. So on this occasion, I congratulate you for all the work, especially our Toronto branch, which hosted this, made various part aspects of the work of the Congress possible. And I'm sure 
that next few years, it will be years of great struggle. Party will grow alongside with non-party organizations and we will get together again in different forms, in the form of struggles, even in conferences and so on. And the broad activity of communistic type would increase. So I will also use this occasion to thank our fraternal comrades. We are linked together with them in this common struggle for the achievement of the highest aims of uh, humankind and alongside with this more support we have from abroad easier becomes the struggle. So comrades and friends would you like to join with me to conclude this sixth Congress of Communist Party of Canada, Marxist Lenin, by singing the song of the international working class, the international, which bourgeoisie has declared that nobody really wants to sing. For us, it is not a religious hymn. For, it, for us, it is a banner of struggle. It provides us a vision, the kind of society which we would like to create. So please join with us to sing the international. <laughs> Congress. 
when the new has arisen, we proudly proclaim that this is the party of hearty Aldanes. Our founder, our leader, our comrade, our friend, who held high the banner of communism. And all that it means to humanity, long live your memory, long live our party. And 